Hi everyone. Today's video is going to be on algae clean algae cleaning your pet bottle water bottles. Now I've got a big range of bottles here. Um obviously in my animals and I thought obviously I'm not gonna show you the whole video on doing them all. But I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just pick one which I probably it's easier to do. I don't do the little one because it's just too small. I'll probably do it on the red one because it's like out of the way a bit. So yeah, we got a giant one which is monkeys. This large one is George's. That one's Aussies. Just because you're wondering who Aussies is, it's my cousin's guinea pig and I've got him for a while. You can see George up there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that's Aussies. We both got the same one. Millie's. Snow and storm. That's I automatically say that. That's snows and that's storms. So yeah, if I just start taking these over, while I'm doing that, I'm letting the water run, so it's just nice and warm. Let's pop down in the sink. The sink is a little dirty, but it doesn't matter. Let's get these quickly. Reason why I could tell the difference with bottles with George and Aussies because. Where my cousin doesn't, it looks like she doesn't do it properly, she's quite young, then my auntie should know really, is that bit. And I've clean, I keep cleaning, cleaning it, but um, it just doesn't come off. Whereas, obviously, George's haven't got one because I do it properly. So, the, the, it's not warming up. Oh, there we go. Um, I'm going to place this on the stand now. And I'm hoping you can still hear me. I don't think you will hear me as good. So I'll try and talk a bit louder. <clears throat> so you're going to see from this view. And what you need, with the algae cleaning, you need cotton buds. I think it's 100. Like I've showed you these before, 100 in there. And um, these are good for getting things. And also you need um, a, teat a teat cleaner or a bottle cleaner. But I snapped them both. I don't know how i done it. But I snapped them both and... Um, Oh, it's cold. It's warming up a bit more. Um, yeah. Now, people don't recommend this, but I do do it because it, it does get a clean for a little while. Tiny, tiny drop of fair liquid. Well, that would be fairy, but they normally say, don't they, you know, the better the brand, the better. Obviously, you wouldn't put this in your pop or nothing like that. So, you wouldn't put too much in the bottles, but something to get them a little bit clean, which I will show you all the way through. So, I will demonstrate it on Millie's. But while the water's warming up, we'll just empty it all now. I hope you can see okay, and I hope you can hear me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use this. And this, these. I'm going to put them aside on it. So yeah, we start off, no, it's warming up now. Start off by emptying all the bottles. Obviously, most people have only got one bottle. But, with these people like me, Quite a few things. We need to do it to all of the bottles. Every single one, no matter how big or small, they all need to be treated the same way. So we're going to do that. Millie's is left then. So you need the water quite warm. This is a little bit too hot for me. But obviously the hotter the better. But like I can't work with it very, very hot, if you know what I mean. Um so yeah, I always start I start with the bottle. Then the teeth because the teeth the teeth, the stem or whatever it's called, steel, what they call it. The spout, that's the one. I do them last because that's when you go again to more detail with with the everything. So just, just think of it this way: the fair liquid goes with the bottle for that, and then 
the cotton buds or with the spout. Go, leave them aside. So I do is keep rinsing this out. I roughly do it five times. I fill to the top and then I fill back down. So that's one. It roughly takes me 20 minutes to do all of their bottles. But I do the algae cleaning every other day. So I just fill up the water on me. That's three. Smash. Left it up the rabbit. It's gone after. I don't want to do it. I'm too range. <coughs> right, one more. Unless I miscounted, I'm not sure. So now it's all been rinsed out better. Now, normally you would use your brush cleaner, but I know I haven't got much algae there, that's why I've really rinsed it out. But you normally get it on the bottom and at the top here, which as you can see, mine's quite clean. But what I do now, if I haven't got it, is simply wet my finger, just wet my hands, which are already wet. Put my little finger inside the bottle and twist it around. As much as I can reach. I don't know if you can see. There we are. Nothing's come out though, but that's something I do mine all the time. Some people don't, so it's quite mucky. It's just like us drinking dirty water. Really. So now I've done that, I rinse out just one more time just to get the little bits out. Now it's squeaky clean, but I still don't think it's clean enough. So put, oh, what I could do, I don't know if the camera's on me now, put a tiny, tiny drop on my one of my fingers, but you can't even see it. A little drop in the end. Right, I don't put that into the bottle. I rinse my finger over the top where the soapy water goes inside the bottle. So, here we go. As you can see, oh, I don't know if you can see actually, but the top is all bubbles. So, all I do is give that a good shake. Which this takes the longest because you have to make sure you get every single bubble out. So, you want to try your best to, uh, this gives it a good old clean. I know some people do this once a week. I get to it, I do it. The algae clean every day, every other day, and I do the free liquid, say once a week, because nobody wants an animal's water to be dirty. Give that a good old scrub. So if you can see it's coming out, all the water's coming out, but the bubbles are staying there. So what you need then, um, quite powerful thing. I do it quite, a, I do it this then three times. So this washes all the extra liquids out, that's one. I hope it gives a little yummy now because I think I'm talking through this. I can't really hear me. I might do a demonstration on the little one again, but I might as well. You can just really rewind this video, can't you? So there we go. I can't see any more in there. But what to do just in case there's any little chemicals not left there. I simply just keep this under the water, under the water, under the tap until it overflows, literally like that. And I do that for literally 10 seconds. That's one, two, three, four, it's gonna be full of it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I just empty that one more time. Wash on the top. Good to wash the bottle on your tizzle, it's look better for you. So now there's not one bubble in there, and I smell it. The smell if I smell any soap in it, which I can't. And then I just simply just wipe over this bit just in case there is any bits and wash over the top and all goes inside it. So rinse one more time and I'm done. So that's the actual bottle. You can see it's like good as new. And then you actually go onto the spout. So let me just put that aside. The spout then I just rinse, rinse this a good couple of times. All of the spout then just, I just clean the out. I don't feel the juice on me. But yeah, just rinse it. It's more like a little bit of food now on the outside type of thing. What you do then, you get your cotton bud. You wet. You wet and then. And then, I always start off with this bit. It doesn't matter which way you went to start with, see that's the spout bit. And what you do, put your cotton, Millie's gets the dirty as I don't know why. You put it inside, then you just go right the way around, and you make sure you hit the ball, and make sure you get all around the spout. So you have to see a little bit of dirt there. And I do this every other day, so if you have never done this to your bottles, I would start doing it, because it's a sign of dirty water. There you go, you just do it until it's squeaky clean. Then you do the same to the other side. I know I'd always get a fresh one for this, 
So what I do is I put it on again. I had to wash all the outside then of this. So like all that is clean. I have a little bit. And then I turn over and I use the other side and I use to get I don't know if you can the camera and pick it up. But you can get, see the little lines in there. That's what screws onto the bottle line. Just get every single bit of that. Because just check a sec. Oh, I'm up for ten minutes on this thing already. Um yeah, there's not one bit in there. So what you do then, you just go down the spout then, which you can't see on camera, but you just go down there, that black line is, and that's where the spout is at this then. So obviously you just give that a good scrub. It should come out nice and clean, but it's always still good to do it. And obviously when it's done then, there's any of the algae little bits off. I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm just going to do it just for this video. I'm just going to go over it one more time. You can even go on the outside and that of this as well, which is a bit pointless, but don't really matter. And look all that's done. And always test out the bottle, always get a little bit of liquid in there and just go make sure it comes out and comes out there properly. Now I'm going to turn the hot off and I'm going to put the cold on so it gets nice and cold. What I'm doing is just simply rinsing it so it cools it down so it gets really hot. I'll rinse that. One more rinse of this. That's it. You can see there's no bubbles at all in there. Before you do that, you just simply fill it up. I don't see how people can just fill their water bottles back up and find that the water is clean. Not too much of that. Give me a lid on. Dry it. And it's good to see if the water's nice and cold and fresh, it's when all of the smoke goes misty. See? See that? So yeah, then you just dry it. And there's your bottle. I'm sorry if this video was like long. I didn't mean for it to be this long. <laughs> but I wanted to go through every single step that I do personally, which I think is the best way because I've never had a problem. Well, when I was younger, I'm not going to go through that story now, keep saying. But like, that's what happened to one of my pets when I was younger, because of the water bottles. So, um, <laughs> Pixie, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, so that's what I'm going to do the rest of them bottles now in a minute. And that is a finished bottle. And you always turn it upside down then, and test it, and you normally put a flicky finger on there. But I can see it's dripping out, so it works fine. So, yeah. Sorry this video was long, and I hope it was informative. I hope to speak to you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.